Welcome to my channel. This is another time-lapse video of a horse. Um, this is a fairly colorful video. Um, this is uh, by request by my wife, so this is actually uh, framed and hanging in my house right now. She's my best customer, as we say. Um, and this is just a, a very quick hand drawing, and, and you'll notice later I have to make some adjustments. I, uh, drew the body a little too long for the uh, the picture frame, so I shortened things up to give it a little more background. Uh, and it really gives the sense of the horse being not quite sideways, but just sort of at an angle to us. Um, I painted a little bit of the background just to um, give myself something to work against, trying to keep the uh, outside of the horse, all those edges soft. I try to keep really a lot of these edges soft. Um, I'm going to do some landscape painting back in here as part of this as well, and I don't do a lot of landscape painting, so those tend to be maybe softer than some of the more traditional landscapes you'll see. Um, but even though this is a very colorful horse, uh, a lot of what I saw and what you'll see me painting in here is really dark grays. There's quite a bit of purple in it, and as we start to see some light, it starts to look even more purple. But in order to create the three-dimensionality around the muscles, those shadows are really what define that. So I usually start there. Um, plus, it's just easier for me to key everything properly. If I start working from dark to light, it's something about how the brain works. When we start to see things that way, it's easier for me to go from dark to light, then from light to dark. And here you see me just blocking in big chunks of the horse's body shape and then adding some lighter colors into it, almost like carving into a block of stone just to get some of that dimensionality to read out by just adding those highlights and again, keeping everything nice and soft. And you see me use a Q-tip here and there to kind of tidy things up. Um, and the horse's face was a different color, which I thought was really interesting. So getting that color richness into that face of the horse while still making it read three-dimensionally um, was a bit of a challenge. You see me sort of painting around the leather bridle part of the horse uh, that I do paint in later. Um, and, you know, this is a horse, but it's in a background that's really, I think, got some interesting colors. You'll see when I start working on the sky and adding some more of the landscape in, some of the color gets really wild. Um, and here again, adding the uh, the bridle color because it's so close to the color of the horse's face, I had to make sure I uh, just shifted the, the, the chroma intensity just a little bit for that. And of course, when you add highlights, it starts to make it stand out, look like leather straps again. Um, and again, I'm just going and making some adjustments to the horse's body, but I also scratched in a couple of um, what looked like blades of grass using Scrafito, using just the end of my brush. Uh, and now I'm going in and just putting some sky in. And the colors of the sky were really wild. I really, really enjoyed this. And some of what I'm doing here is just painting negatively against the horse's head, just reshaping the bottom of the horse's head as I go back in with some of the sky. But I'm keeping everything very, very soft. You can see as I'm painting the sky, and I'm just like smushing paint around. Um, the uh, photograph I'm using is from a calendar. Uh, it's a really great photograph, and the sky really does look intense. And uh, my sky probably isn't quite as dramatic as the one uh, that's in the photograph because I'm keeping everything just a little too soft for that to really show up. But um, this is what it looked like, great pink clouds and purple shadows and uh, with some blue background. It was really fantastic. Uh, I tried to capture that as best as I could and uh, started adding a little more texture to parts of the landscape just to make some uh, that look like it stands out. And this is the final painting. As I said, this is already hanging in my house, um, and uh, I think my wife likes it. Uh, I have a website. At, it's uh, robertosuzuki.art. I'm on Instagram at roberto underscore suzuki underscore art, and I'm on Facebook at fb.com slash robertosuzukiart. Uh, if you like the video, please click like and please subscribe. Thank you.